From the beginning of their life as a nation, Israel's vitality was tethered to the health of their relationship with the Lord. You see, God had established covenants with his people and had chosen the Jews to be the people through which he would ultimately bring Jesus as the Messiah into the world. And as a unique people, God instructed them to bring the right sacrifices at the right time and in the right way to worship him. And in Numbers 29, instructions are given for the various offerings for the Feast of the Trumpets, the Day of Atonement, and the Feast of Tabernacles. Now, each of the offerings, they were routine and they were costly, and they each had a different purpose to fulfill. But the ultimate goal was to please and to delight the Lord. Now, as believers in Jesus, we have an ability to look back on these festivals and these offerings and see that they're fulfilled in Christ. These sacrifices had to be repeated on a regular schedule. But Jesus' sacrifice on the cross accomplished salvation once and for all, for all who believe. Also, the blood of animals could never take away sin, but the blood of Jesus cleanses us from all sin. Let me remind you of what Hebrews chapter 10 tells us. The old system under the law of Moses was only a shadow, a dim preview of the good things to come not the good things themselves. The sacrifices under that system were repeated again and again, year after year, but they were never able to provide a perfect cleansing for those who came to worship. If they could have provided perfect cleansing, the sacrifices would have stopped, for the worshipers would have been purified once for all time, and their feelings of guilt would have disappeared. But instead, Those sacrifices actually reminded them of their sins year after year, for it is not possible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sins. That is why Christ came into the world. Today, let's be reminded of the good of the good news of Jesus, that in him we have complete forgiveness and he is the ultimate sacrifice and offering on our behalf.